we go. Hey everyone, it's Earth Collectors here. We are doing another retail break. We found these at Walgreens. These are baseball card mystery boxes. You get four factory sealed packs and one mystery card per box. They were $10 at Walgreens. And I think they maybe had, I don't know, five, six, seven of them left in stock. Um, so we'll see what's in here. We did cut the seal on them. Um, but, you know, pretty good price. Uh, and you cannot see on the inside. A lot of times the boxes have that little cellophane yeah, they're thing. Like clear. So you can kind of look into them. So you can't look into these unless you cut them open. Uh, Dustin May, World Series Champs. So that's your card. Hey, the top loader is probably worth more than the card. Honestly. Ben Baller did the cards as a Ben Baller design. It's kind of cool. What is that from? Some kind of like Tops Now or something. Yeah. Know. Someone it's, let us know because I have no idea. It's pretty interesting, actually. Here are packs. 2012 Goodwin Champs. 19 Series 1, 19 Series 1, and 19 Series 1, but a 16 card pack. So let's do some 19 Series 1. Uh, there is Kyle Tucker. So there is uh, the one guy you're looking for. Obviously, the retail packs. Now, tomorrow, we are leaving bright and early. There's a Jeff McNeil uh, to head down to the Ship Shawana Sports Card Show in Indiana. So we are looking forward to that. Um, a little bit of a drive for us, but it should be fun. Not bad. It's like three and a half hours compared to a lot of people. It's right on the border of Indiana, Michigan. I mean, it's like literally yeah, across the pretty line. Pretty much is in Michigan. Yeah. So... Uh, we're in more central Michigan, so it is a, a little bit more of a drive for us, but not too bad at all. Actually, closer than Chicago. Yes, it is. So that'll be fun. Uh, I'm going to do, or not setting up, I'm going to do some, uh, just some to try to buy some stuff. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to film some content there, meet some people. So it should be fun. Yeah, so we will be getting some footage from the show and trying to put together a video while well, we do have a new camera that we bought a while ago haven't been able to use it much so we will try to be doing some filming and then bring it back home do some editing so maybe we'll get a couple videos out of that we'll see uh, maybe we'll get some footage of us going down the road and maybe even hitting a restock yeah, I'll probably go to Walmart or Marine Meyer in the morning there uh, kind of works into our time schedule so we got a military machines a plane card. Um, yeah, there you go. And there's an Eck. So what? What year is that? 2012. 2012. Weird. A throwback. Yeah. Strange. Strange. So, let us know in the comments below. Do you or did you find any of these at Walgreens? Do you know about them? Have you ever seen this um, before? You know this. Uh, uh, format with these four sealed packs and one mystery card. Ten dollars, pretty good price. And worth worth a shot. Uh, but obviously the packs, you know, I'm sure there's probably some good packs in some of these. Let's we'll see what's in this one here. It looks like we have another 19 series one. An update 2020. And then we have 19 series one and 19 series one. And our mystery card is an angels. Tops now. Tops now. Interesting. So, yeah, interesting. Last year they had the Pokemon mystery boxes like these. Um, oh, yeah. Bring back some good memories for me. Were they the, were they the small like that? Yep. Yeah. yeah. You, got, uh, you got four or five booster packs in them. And then there's a vintage pack, one in every five. And I got two different sets of them from two different Walgreens. Both had... Uh, oh, right. One had a first edition <laughs> Spanish base set pack, and the other had a base set pack. So in total, I spent like $400 buying up these uh, mystery boxes. And I think I sold the two vintage packs for like, this is at the very peak of Pokemon in March for like 2500 bucks or something ridiculous. Yeah, it was all crazy. Right, all right. that was crazy. You were um, very uh, psyched to get one of those. Yes. Yeah, and what? Yeah, wasn't it uh, like in each display case? There's usually a vintage yeah, in pack. Each display case. You got I got yeah. lucky with the vintage packs that I got, but yeah. there is one in each display case. So it was pretty crazy. They're fun. Yeah. Now the you know retail is still going bonkers. Um, not maybe as bad as a while ago, but still pretty tough to get. Um, and, you know, this is another way to get your hands in some retail packs for cheap. Obviously, you're not guaranteed anything other than the four packs, but they're complete mystery. 
Luckily, if you're a baseball collector and you live in a not so busy area, there probably is still a lot of baseball left around, which is nice. So. The Glaber. We have Torres. a ton of baseball at our Meyer still. So. Yes. Yeah. In fact, one Meyer by us still has a bunch of um, chrome sitting on the shelf, and you know nobody has touched it for weeks. I mean, the only stuff that doesn't sit, the Bowman Chrome makers haven't sat because I bought them all, but. Um, over the course of like two weeks, there's still some out there. Like three or four days later, when I went and bought the rest of them, so we still haven't found. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. And when update comes out, which I'm pretty sure you're just gonna say we haven't found yes, it. Yes, right. It should be out this Friday. Um, Cedric Mullins rookie. But that'll sit for a while too. So I would think, yeah, it will. Yeah, just because the checklist is not um, the greatest, and because last year when the retail stuff was even hotter, it still sat. There's an Otani, 84. And another Otani. We got a bunch of these uh, cards, I think. And don't they all have lines in them? Yeah. Yep. So every one of these, it, tell me if you've ever pulled one of these cards out and it doesn't have it, some kind of a obvious a line, in, line it. in it. Every time. Um, yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Reese Hoskins. This guy's like the poster boy for tops. He's like in every single product, Reese. Um, this guy, worst pitcher ever. Why don't you learn how to pitch, Jacob? Just kidding. Best pitcher in modern times. All right, so 2020 update series. Let's see what we pull out of here. Maybe we have something awesome in here. Probably not. Um, going back, of course, to last year, 2020. Definitely the design was okay. Um, I have not seen much of the new design for next year. but I haven't either. I know they released something a while back, but I don't think I paid a whole bunch of attention to it. What happened to Brandon McKay? I have no idea. He was really hot for a while. Yeah, and he just kind of fell off the map. Um, Christian Yelich, another guy who kind of fell off the map. Uh, Mookie Betts definitely didn't fall off the map. Um, here he is. Eddie Murray. Um, what else do we have in here? Scherzer. The one fun thing about Update is there's a lot of big names in it. Um, anyway, so there you have it, guys. That's eight packs with these two mystery cards. Ten bucks per box at Walgreens. Um, the Walgreens by us now has these things on a display case that's attached to the um metal shelving units and they're kind of like not on an end cap but they're right next to the end cap i don't know how else to explain it but they're in a cardboard display case and they'll have other sports cards in fact they had uh prism draft football they had prism baseball and they had prestige football and then they had these in there so kind of random stuff yes. but um, yeah, let us know what you think of this. Uh, and uh, if you've pulled any good packs out of it, leave that in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you pulled uh, for packs and did you pull any good cards out of the packs you opened. Thanks for watching. We hope to bring you footage from the Ship Shawana show. And maybe Luke will have some good things he picked up I'll there. I'll have a recap video of what I picked yeah. up. For sure, a pickups video. One of the things I'm really looking forward to picking up at the show, I'm not bringing, my budget is like very limited. I'm not bringing hardly any money, but. I do want to buy cardboard storage boxes. Isn't that exciting? I do too, actually. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, cardboard storage if not, boxes. We're going to make a stop on the way home to get them. So. Yeah, all right. Got to find them. Got to find them somewhere. Or we'll have to start making them ourselves. Yep. If you have any knowledge of how to make cardboard boxes, yeah, if you want to start a cardboard manufacturing let us businesses know. or business uh, with us. Let us know. Because we may just get, in, get into that business. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Take care and have fun collecting. We'll be making more videos, so stay tuned for those. All right, see you guys.